Hey guys, and this is today's daily news. This series is all that you football fans need to know to make sure that you're a hundred percent updated with all the news revolving around the footballing world. But before we get into it, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a like on the video if you do go on to enjoy it, and also, as usual, make sure notification bell to turn on. You don't miss out on any videos on the channel. So let's get straight into it. First up, and Arsenal have signed super talent Omar Rakitic. So the 19-year-old Tunisian centre-back has been highly rated by many clubs around the world. It looked clear that Arsenal were going to get him because they have been they have been interested in him ever since the start of the season, and he was a top talent in the Hertha Berlin youth setup. He will now join the under-23 um, squad for Arsenal, and if he does play well and progress his footballing skills, he might even make it to the um, Arsenal first team. Arsenal recently. Um, loaned out William Saliba and he could probably be a replacement for him. Um, and also, uh, Arsenal are trying to improve their defence and he could certainly be a good signing. Next up, and Poch has added another transit target to his list. Uh, Mauricio Pochettino recently took over as head coach for PSG and it's certain that he will make a lot of transfers. He has a big budget from PSG and he's going to make the best out of it. Um, previously, some players like Messi... Deli Ali and Eriksen have been uh, mentioned, but now it looks like he's going to go for Sergio Aguero. So the Argentine striker's contract is expiring at the end of the season, and Manchester City aren't really playing him too much. He's pretty injury prone, and they also have Gabriel Jesus, and he's definitely uh, gone in a st- um, steady decline. I mean, not exactly steady, but a kind of he's kind of declining, and he's not the Sergio Aguero he once was. But he's still a capable goal scorer, and I'm sure he'll excel in the um, league uh, for. Um, PSG and even in the Champions League for the club and if they have a front three of um, Sergio Aguero and then a uh, top attacking player like Neymar and Mbappe and also create a player like Di Maria I'm sure they're going to score a bunch of goals if I mean more than how much they would without Aguero it's a good signing and I'm sure Poch will be happy if it does go through plus uh, Aguero will be incredibly cheap and he might even get him on a free moving on an American centre-back McKenzie has joined Genk it was always going to happen. Jenk were interested in the services for a long time and they wanted him as a centre-back to pair with John Lucimi. He's a talented centre-back. He's only 21 and he will definitely keep improving. I'm sure it's, it's also a step up for him in his career coming into Europe and he might even um, further you know, go to another bigger league and a bigger club if he's successful in the Belgium first division. Moving on, let's talk about Kyle Dea Kone. So he's a talented centre midfielder that's only 19 years of age and playing with Toulouse in the French second division and he has a lot of interest in his services. Number one Manchester United were interested some time ago but looks like they haven't really um, put in an appropriate bid that Toulouse are going to accept and they haven't actually made any contact with the club. Then AC Milan are also interested in his services in the Serie A but it looks like the front runners for his services is actually Borussia Mönchengladbach. So it's definitely a good move for the player. It looks like they were offered to lose the highest amount of money. It looks like a 10 million euro move will go through. It's a good step up for Kone going from the second division to a top team and he'll even play Champions League football. And he's also seen some play- French players like Marco Turam and Alisson player join Mönchengladbach. So that will probably help him uh, get convinced. Moreover, they will offer him probably the most game time and they'll probably take care of him and turn him into an absolute beast. Moving on, and then super transfer specialist Fabrazio Romagno says that al has signed for Ajax. A 25 million euro deal has been complete and he just needs to complete his medical in Amsterdam. It's a good signing for Ajax. He's been flopping at, he's not, I mean, he's a flop at uh, West Ham, but I feel like he's actually started off his season pretty well. It's surprising that they're selling him for um, almost half of what they bought him for and it's a good deal for Ajax. He can, it's a good deal for Haller as well. He's going to play top Champions League football and it's kind of similar to what Dimitri Payet did. He joined but then um, West Ham weren't really progressing and then he just left for Marseille. Ajax, uh, Ajax would definitely win trophies and Haller could be the perfect player especially since Kinsey Promise is now out and he will definitely join a couple of quality attackers. Lastly, but definitely not least, Atleti won a new striker. So they have three players on their transfer shortlist. Number one, and it's um, Moussa Dembele playing for Olympic Lyonish. Lyon have said that they are willing to let him go because the likes of Kadaveri and um, Tokwe Kambi 
have been playing very well. But if Di Perez go on to leave the club, then it'll be bad if they let the um, French striker go. He's definitely the top target. He's a good striker. He's only 23. And he'll provide cover for Al, um, Luis Suarez and Joao Fili because Diego Costa recently left the club. The second player on the list is Arkadish Milik, who's currently replying at the end of the season. Um, Napoli don't need, want him. And he's also a talented striker as well. And the last one is Lauren Morin. He's playing for Real Betis. They're, they're, they're in bad form. And he's a top striker with um, La Liga experience. And he knows how to find the back of the net. And I'm pretty sure he'll be willing to sit on the bench for the likes of Joao Fili to progress in his career. That's it for today's daily news. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, see you guys later.